Hello everyone, welcome back once again to my channel. Yeah, it's been a long time, but still I'm here with yet another video. And in this video, we are going to talk about the one strategy that you need to know to ace your PLAB 1 examination. And yeah, if you have booked your PLAB 1 examination and uh, uh, you are preparing for your PLAB 1 examination and you are trying to find out the ways to ace your examination, this video is going to be the video, the ultimate guide uh, for your uh, exam preparation. And if you do not have that patience to watch all the video till the very end, uh, so uh, the outline of this video I'll be giving somewhere uh, in the left or the right. Uh, and uh, definitely, uh, but what I suggest is before you draw the conclusion, uh, I suggest you to separate yourself a time of 10 to 15 minutes, have yourself a pen and paper, sit and uh, you know work on yourself and the main objective of making this video is by the end of this video you must be having your own individualized plan because the PLAB 1 preparation itself is the individualized preparation. You cannot copy anyone's strategy, you cannot copy anyone's plan if you search for can i prepare in a 15 days you will get the answer can I, if, if you search uh, can i you know uh, prepare in the six month you will get the answer but but the preparation is individualized you need to have your own proper well written uh, plan for your lab one preparation so without further ado let's jump into the topic so before we go and discuss the strategy, the one game, uh, it is always wise to work on ourselves. It is always wise to understand who we are. It is like, uh, you know, iron on the fire. It, it is must and it will be easy to save yourself um, for the PLAB 1 examination. And uh, yeah, it will definitely help you a lot. Um, so... If you have a piece of pen and a paper, I want you to write all the answers that have written in this presentation. The first thing you need to know is how much time do you have, um, uh, because that will, you know, affect your preparation and the approach to the PLAB 1 examination. The next thing I like to talk about uh, is your study style. So we all have a different study style. Some of us might like to, you know, uh, do audio visual learning. Some of us might like to read the notes, then solve the question bank. Some of us uh, have a different strategy like doing the question bank, solving uh, the questions and studying the explanation. Then, uh, you know, collecting that constellation of the information and, uh, you know, uh, uh, get the concept on that particular topic. So. Just write down what is uh, your study style and what is your preferable study style. And next thing I want you to know about yourself is what is your learning speed. Uh, you know, because that depends. Uh, we we are different um, in, uh, you know, many aspects. And one of that aspect is how fast we can understand the information and how fast we can understand that particular concept. Because that is affected by whether or not you are a recent graduate or whether or not you are, uh, you know, uh, uh, you have a decent background knowledge from the medical school. So know your learning speed before your preparation. And the next thing, uh, the fourth point I like to talk about is what kind of study ambience do you prefer for your PLAB preparation? You know, uh, some of uh, the doctors like to you know study in the groups and discuss the questions and everything and some of us might like to do a study by ourselves and self-study you can pause this video and write down the answer very honestly about the time you have about your study style how fast you can get your information and get the concept and what is your study ambience preference and by the end of this video Hopefully, uh, you know, uh, we will be able to make yourself, a, uh, you know, individualized preparation strategy. So if you ask me what is the most important and take 
takeaway message uh, of today's webinar and the presentation is you need to know the game of prioritization that is you need to know the game of prioritization if you really want to ace your exam and uh, yeah let's talk about the game of prioritization and this is the only game that you need to know to ace your uh, exam and you know make your preparation uh, wise and better the first thing uh, we will be talking about in the game of prioritization is uh, you need to prioritize uh, the subjects you know you need to have that subject based prioritization and the next thing I like to talk uh, is uh, the prioritization of the study resource and uh, the third thing if you really want to you know, ace your exam you need to prioritize uh, your study style whether you want to you know um, uh, prioritize the concept over the question memorization and uh, recall memorization and the third thing uh, for the, the fourth thing that I really want to talk about is you need to prioritize and have that separate plan for the last month preparation from your regular preparation you need to have the separate plan for the last hour preparation from your regular preparation and the last month preparation so we will be talking all this in detail in upcoming slide so this is the take home message you need to know the game of prioritization you need to prioritize your subjects you need to prioritize your study resource you need to prioritize the question uh, memorization versus the concept and uh, you need to have that separate plan for the last month preparation last hour preparation from the regular pre preparation you need to prioritize this thing uh, all right so let's talk about the subject based prioritization so when we talk about the subject based prioritization um, you know it, it is really imperative to prioritize your subjects so you need to know which is the you know important subjects which which are the high L subjects. So uh, in the screen you can see that um, in some way here uh, in the screen you can see that uh, you know these are the high L subjects that I feel uh, because you know most of the time you you will get tentatively about this this much of question. So you need to know the um, you know prioritization of the subjects and you need to prioritize accordingly so why I'm saying that is if you prioritize your subjects you can um, you know make yourself a individualized plan based on the time you have based on the work you do based on your study style and based on your learning speed okay so but having said that there is no rocket science that you will get the 25 question from the emergency medicine or you know 20 question from the um, you know psychiatry and all there is no rocket science to that and there is no hard and fast rule you can get any amount of question from any subjects but but you need to know the train so how do you know the train when you follow the train when you uh, are curious to find out what are the high L subjects and once you do this workout you know you already win the half of the game and guys why I'm still telling that is you know you need to prioritize the common thing first because uh, you know you will get those questions repeatedly and uh, you know you will get those questions from the same topic uh, repeatedly so knowing the high L subject is very important and the next thing is by prioritizing your subjects uh, you can prioritize as per your circumstances like how much time you have how much uh, you know what is your uh, situation what is your dedicated study hours that you can you know give for yourself and yeah if you have plenty of time uh, what I suggest is you know you need to prepare for the worst as well if you prioritize all these subjects and you have a plenty of time you have already done with the high L subject what I suggest is you know you know prepare for the worst study everything you can get any question from the any top topic you know but but just remember common thing first prepare for the high L subject first then go for other things 
next thing we will talk about is um, the prioritization of your study resource so what i mean by that is there are plenty of resource um, in the market and you will get confused but you need to know um, you know how much time you have and uh, you know what is your study style and uh, what kind of uh, study you like to have for example if i have a 15 days of time definitely definitely i will not go for the extensive resource um, uh, to study for myself to do the preparation for example if i have a 15 days what i will do is i will go for a playable and in the playable also i will solve the question bank uh, and I'll do the mocks more if I only have a 15 days and uh, You know, I'll revise my mistake. That's about it. But In contrary if I have a you know month of time or a two or three months of time Then what I will do is I'll go for a med revision. I'll mix the resource. I'll consult from the different resource and uh, You know, I'll do the preparation accordingly. So you know prioritizing your resource as per uh, the time you have and uh, your study style is very important there is a whole another video for a plan one preparation where i have talked about all the study resource and in-depth comparison of all these study resource uh, so if you have a time go look at that video as well uh, all right so next topic i like to talk about is uh, uh, the you know uh, the assessment and uh, assessment is very imperative to the learning and it is really important to understand uh, what it means and why it matters uh, so whatever the method whatever the study resource you are having uh, you need to reassess yourself you know and assessment allows you to analyze uh, your strength and focus on uh, enhancing your weakness so there are uh, a couple of ways that you can assess yourself so the first thing i like to talk about is you know solving the question bank if you solve the question bank uh, you know it gives you an idea on uh, in which subject you are weak at and focus on uh, your weakness and uh, our next uh, next way to assess yourself is by doing the time based mock uh, you need to do more and more mocks at the end of your preparation um, there is whole another video as well for the time management and uh, plan one preparation uh, how to do mock uh, and i'll be giving you a link somewhere in this video as well so go watch that video uh, but what I suggest is, you know, you can assess yourself by doing the time-based mock. And uh, remember that the time-based mock must be 180 minute, 180 question. That will affect and, you know, adapt yourself to the examination environment. And another way you can assess yourself is just by uh, leaning back and try to memorize uh, the thing that you have just studied. And uh, if you can recall those uh, important clues and uh, you know relevant concept that you are well and good and the last point I like to talk about is uh, yeah it's somewhere that teaching you know to teach someone um, uh, if you can teach someone in a very simple manner in a, a in a, a fluent manner covering all the concept then the uh, your concept is clear and you have the better understanding of that subject so keep this thing in mind and please 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 whatever the resource reassess yourself Assess it. assessment is very 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 important so let's talk about last month or 15 days of preparation so your last month or 15 days of preparation should be separate and you need to have that proper plan for the uh, uh, for the last month or 15 days of preparation um, you know this should be different from uh, the uh, you know uh, the regular preparation that you are having for a plan one examination so in the last month or 15 days what i will suggest is uh, you need to have this time based mock 
Um, so you need to do the time-based mock more in your last 15 days or last month because, uh, you know, in this way you can review your mistakes and, uh, you know, revise on the weak subjects. This is the better way to prepare in the last month or last 15 days of preparation. And when you do the mock, you need to do that 180 question in 180 minute. What it does, it, it will give you that adaptation and, uh, you know, uh, that uh, training of your mind uh, to the examination environment. And how to do this time-based mock, I have made a video, video on this, um, on the time management. Uh, that That is a very important video. Uh, and um, if you have a time, go look. Uh, look at uh, that video as well and uh, please uh, in the last month do not underestimate the power of nutrition do not underestimate the power of having a good sleep hygiene and also the mental health you are in some kind of stress or some kind of drama so keep those things aside till you have your examination if you can and also uh, you, you have yourself a good sleep and a good nutrition in the last month because this will affect a lot for your exam outcome. And uh, yeah, the last hour preparation, the last hour preparation should be different than your regular and last month preparation. So you need to make your own plan. So in the last hour, please do not look on the new information. Do not try to learn the new things. And if you have any short keys that you have jotted down or the notes that you have um, uh, that are very, really um, high yield information, you can go and look uh, on those short information in your last hour. But there, you should not be watching any or looking on uh, any new information to get. And uh, yeah, what I suggest is do not overthink the consequences because in the last hour we'll get so stressed that uh, we will more focused on the consequences and, um, you know, uh, overthink a lot about the exam outcome. That will even make your uh, uh, exam preparation worse. So do not overthink the consequences and stay calm and composed in your examination. You will see a lot of, uh, you know, doctors are studying in the examination hall. Um, you should not be comparing yourself to them. Uh, keep yourself calm and composed and uh, do not compare yourself with anyone else believe in yourself and last thing i like to say is do not complicate the process of passing your own exam if you do overthink and you stress out in the last hour you are complicating and you are uh, you know kind of uh, making it complex to pass the examination and help yourself and next thing, uh, this is probably the last presentation. Uh, let's solve the PLAB 1 puzzle. You have written down all the uh, things to know yourself better. The first thing I like to know is think, you know, know about yourself. By this time, I hope that you have written down all the information about yourself that I have asked. And uh, the next thing you'll be doing is make yourself a plan. If you can make yourself a written plan or a proper written plan, this will be more effective than making a planning in your head. Because when you make yourself a proper schedule and a plan um, for the exam, uh, for the regular preparation, from for the last month preparation and the, uh, and the last hour preparation um, in the written form, that plan is more like to be executed. And uh, next thing, when you make your plan, stick to that. Okay. Uh, and uh, and do it now. Make yourself a plan. And uh, yeah, do uh, uh, a study and revise, revise, revise. Revision is the key. And uh, do a lot of study and uh, do study smartly. So what I mean by uh, studying smartly is Right, as the high L subject, finish the common thing first, finish the high L subject first, then go for the complex thing and different study resources. But you need to have that one core resource to uh, do the lab one preparation, even though you consult the different resource if you have a time. And the fourth thing I like to talk 
about is reassessment and revision. Reassessment and revision is uh, the key. And, you know, uh, there are a couple of ways that I have told you how you can uh, reassess yourself. Uh, you can do the mocks, you can solve the question, you can lead back and recall the information. Lastly, you can teach someone about that particular topic. You can reassess yourself by doing all these things. If you are weak on some subjects, then uh, it is worth going back doing the revision rather than gathering all the new information and and going nowhere. The very last thing that I would like uh, you to tell is stay disciplined to your routine and believe in yourself. Uh, yeah, together we can. Do not overthink. Yeah, this is all about uh, this video and presentation webinar. Um, yeah, stay disciplined, prep smartly, believe in yourself and reassess, revise and take care of yourself. I hope uh, you find this video helpful and uh, I believe that after this video you'll make your own plan one preparation plan for a regular preparation your last month preparation and last hour preparation and uh, yeah not only making the plan definitely I believe that you will stick to your plan and execute your plan which is very important you know not just making a plan but to execute the plan and when you look back uh, after giving your examination, you will definitely feel proud that you will make this plan and stick to it. Uh, I promise you, you will not regret making this plan and it's because this will take your preparation definitely to the higher level, um, you know, a, a little bit closer to the success. And at least you will feel proud that uh, you have done your best. Uh, Having said that, uh, if you need any help in your journey, uh, I'll be leaving, uh, you know, all the social media handle that you can connect me with. And uh, yeah, you can drop me a mail. Uh, most of the time I'll uh, reply the email whenever I have a time to help you all. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching this video. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, if you find this video really helpful, please uh, do subscribe to my channel and help me to grow. Uh, this will motivate me to make more of this content. And uh, there are a lot of uh, things that I am excited to share. And I'll definitely drop down all this video in my channel. See you in the next video. Stay tuned. Bye-bye. Have a good day.